uh, welcome back uh, in this segment we'll see how we can translate a programming logic into boolean expression we all all have uh, uh, written our share of code so we know what is uh, uh, like uh, co a condition uh, conditional expressions or something like that for example uh, let's say if statement we already we have uh, written a uh, codes a uh, using a if statement so now when you have an if statement in your program then how can that get translated in for your uh, uh, for the understanding of your hardware now let's have uh, let's have this example if is then y equal to b else else y equal to a see this is this is a, an if statement which says that if s is true output will be b and else output will be a now what would be the expression for uh, this one in uh, using boolean uh, uh, what, uh, what a boolean expression should satisfy this or uh, what would be the equivalent boolean expression uh, expression for this uh, if condition if you look carefully then you would see that this s is controlling the output it could be b or it could be a that means this one is kind of selecting which one should go to the output so the expression could be something like this y equal to s prime a plus s b if you look carefully and see that let's say uh, wh what did i say when s is true let's say true means one so when s is one this s becomes zero that means this term all together becomes zero so the output will be b again when s is false that means s is one uh, uh, s is zero this one becomes one and this s is zero so this term all together becomes zero so the output will be a now let's draw a circuit for this one so we have we need two and gates and then uh, let's design it uh, uh, here uh, i'm running short of space here so let's design it here This one will be Y, so this is A, this is B and this one is S. So now you can see that let me adjust the uh, camera a bit so now you can see that when a is equal to 1 which means you have 1 here you have b here and so this one is 0 and this one is a which means 0 is coming here and b is coming uh, coming out from this one which means the output is b when s equal to 0 then you will have a 0 here and you will have 
a 1 here. So if you have that, that means you will have a 0 here and you will have an A here, which means the output will be A. So this expression satisfies this logic. Now, can you tell me or do, do you understand what this circuit is? We already, we, you have learned this circuit in your digital logic course. Uh, this circuit is called selected circuit or multiplexer. In short, we write it like this, M U X max. And the block diagram for max in rest of the course will be using something like this. And this is our selector. So this is our marks. So this is our multiplexer. Okay. Now this is this is how we. Uh, uh, so th that's why it use S, which means S works as a selector. It selects which output, uh, which input should go to the output. And this is uh, uh, this is how other log other uh, conditional expressions can be translated in in uh, boolean expression other uh, other uh, uh, expressions can also be translated in using in this boolean expression and multiplexer can be used there okay so uh, i'll see you in the next uh, next segment hope you enjoyed it and uh, you'll be in the next uh, you'll join the ne next segment thank you